The best PvP perks for a hatchet in New World is going to be Kini Jagged, Attunement, and the last perk is up to you. Since there's three different perks, or mainly actually four different perks that you can choose on the hatchet to make it the best in slot hatchet, the last perk mainly depends on your playstyle and the attribute points you're going to use with the hatchet. So, if you're going to choose the best in slot hatchet, it's going to be an attunement perk, then a key in the jagged perk, and the last perk is going to be up to you. It's either going to be 14 strikes, pieces, penetrating backstab or or rogue so this is going to be your best in slot hatchet if you're going to go 300 strength you're going to go with 14 strikes if you have a dex player or you like to go with dexterity you're going to use visas or rogue you can also use visas or rogue with 300 strength but then you can interchange between running dexterity and strength Rogue is only good if you have a setup for Rogue. If you have a weapon that has lots of crowd control like the sword and shield, basically Rogue is only good if you can get consistent backstabs. The same goes for penetrating backstab, otherwise go with Vicious or Fording Strikes. So why would I recommend Vicious for the hatchet? Well the hatchet has a 1.4 crit multiplier and this allows you to actually do extra damage with crits. This means that Resilient won't negate Visas, since the hatchet already has a 1.4 crit multiplier and Resilient basically doesn't apply to any crits above a 1.4 multiplier, so Visas will work with the hatchet. I also know that a lot of people like to run Keenly Empowered on the hatchet, but I wouldn't recommend it. Since the hatchet gets Empowered capped really easily, if we look at the skill tree of the hatchet, you'll see that we have a lot of empowers on the hatchet. For example, accumulative power, it will give us a 20% damage increase buff. This will count towards your Kini empowered cap. We also have Berserk. I also think this counts towards your Kini empowered cap. This is already 40%. We also have against all odds, which will, which will give you a 10% extra damage this will count towards your empowered cap and we also have exploitation this will also count towards your empowered cap this is, this doesn't even include your gems or your slash damage ring so as you can see you will easily hit the empowered cap if you use keenly empowered on your hatchet this is why i do not recommend using keenly empowered on your hatchet and it will be much better just to run Kini Jagged on your hatchet since it won't count towards your Kini Empowered Cap. Also, if you can't get one of the achievement perks on your hatchet, I would recommend for one of the chain perks. It can also be really good. The benefit of running a chain perk on your weapon is that it will charge your ultimate a little bit faster if you're fighting in a group scenario. But if you want more burst, go with an achievement perk. To craft the best in slot hatchet, you basically only have to craft 40 hatchets, more or less, to gain a best in slot hatchet. But remember, this is RNG, you might need to craft more, you might need to craft less. So if you want to craft a best in slot hatchet with one of these perks, so one of these perks will roll on the hatchet, you're going to have to craft more or less 40 hatchets. So what are some of the good perks for the armor? Well. It is not really a must have perk for the armor when you play the hatchet, but I would recommend Feral Rush. If you're playing with Feral Rush, then I would recommend the Feral Rush perk, but there's not really a perk that you must have to perform with the hatchet. You can pick and choose the armor perks as you see fit. If you want a good PvP hatchet to start off with, I would recommend looking for the Berserker Axe on the PvP track. It has Vicious, Keenly Empowered and Penetrating Backstab. The only perk that's not going to be as effective is the Keenly Empowered, but in some rare cases you might not even get capped with Keenly Empowered, so then it will be useful. But it's really good because it has Vicious and Penetrating Backstab. These two perks really can't roll together. So with this named item you get two damage conditioning perks where these perks usually won't be able to roll together so you will have insane amount of damage with the berserker's axe 
If you can't get the Berserker's Axe on the PvP track, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get, even if you get unlucky. I would recommend some four other headsets that you can go and farm. The first one is Tiger's Instinct. Well, this one is a really good one since it has Rogue and Keenium Power, and sorry, Keenium Jagged on it, and a Refreshing Evasion. So if you have a crowd control build with a hammer or a sword and shield, I would recommend this one. You can go farm it in Broven, or you can farm the boss Broven for it. The Broven boss spawns in Ebon Scale, so you can go farm this boss. It also drops a ring, but I wouldn't recommend the ring. It's not as good, but it would be a good placeholder even for your hatchet bolt. Another hatchet that I would recommend is the Black Guards hatchet. You get this hatchet in Tempest, and it drops from Uzret. I think I'm saying that right. Basically, it has 14 strikes on it, Keen and Keenium Powered. It's the only perk that's not really that good is Keenium Powered, but it will still be effective sometimes. So, it's still a really good hatchet with 14 strikes, Keenium Powered. Plus, Keen will never be useless since the hatchet has such a high crit damage multiplier. The next hatchet that I would recommend is Soul. It has Chain Fire, Reese's, and Keen Berserk on it. This is a really good two perker, but Keen Berserk is not totally useless. This one you can go and farm in Lazarus. You might already have this one, but there's a lot of mobs that can drop this hatchet in Lazarus. So you might already have this hatchet in your inventory, just go and look. It's called Soul. The next one that I would recommend is Ligo. This one you can go and farm in the Enya dungeon if by it drops by the boss Lucas or Lucius. And it has Vicious, Play Crits, and Keenium Powered on it. I would actually recommend you go and farm this hatchet above all the other hatchets, since this is a really good PvP hatchet. It has Vicious, Play Crits, and Keenium Powered. Play Crits is going to help you burst those healers and all of those builds that utilize life stealing and so forth. Plus, if everyone is running a healer in arenas, you're going to have a really good time with this hatchet. So I would recommend you farm this hatchet above the other hatchets, but these hatchets are all placeholders until you can find your best in slot hatchet, which is going to be the Keeney Jagged perk, one of the uh, attunement perk, and then one of the other four perks, which is going to be Rogue, Vicious, Falling Strikes, or Penetrating Backstab. So go and farm these hatchets if you can't get the Berserker's Axe. But once you can craft the best in slot hatchet for you, move over to the attunement perk, Keeney Jagged perk, and one of the four other perks like Fording Strikes, Vicious Rogue, and Penetrating Backstab. If you're running a build that utilizes crowd control, where you can use Rogue or Penetrating Backstab, you can watch this video where I show you the difference between Rogue and Penetrating Backstab. Both of these perks can be good in different scenarios.